Welcome to D-Beaver's YouTube channel. This part of our educational series for beginners is dedicated to the aggregate functions. If you are just familiarizing yourself with data aggregation, we recommend you start with the previous chapters by following the links in the description of this video below. Today, we'll introduce the summary function, which you can encounter as sum in the queries. Keep watching this video to learn how to use this function with the GROUP BY clause for data aggregation. As its name suggests, the SUM function returns the total sum of a column. As well as the AVG function, the SUM function works only with numeric data and ignores all the null values. Its structure looks like this. Select column 1, SUM column 2, FROM table name. Group by column 1. In this template, the sum function and grouping are applied to different columns. However, you can use them for the same column if needed. Let's see how the sum function works using specific examples. By now, you should have already installed the DBeaver Community app and created an SQLite database. If you need to learn how to download and install the application, Follow the link in the description or click on the tooltip on the right hand side of the screen. Imagine you need to analyze sales across different locations and identify which ones have the highest total value of deals using the invoice table. Let's start by summarizing each country's deal amounts from the total column. Execute the following Select Billing Country, Sum, Total, From, Invoice, Group by, Billing Country. After query execution, we get two columns, one with all the unique entries of countries' names and one with the total sales amounts for each country. However, we should add more data to our results set to create a detailed report about the company's deals. Let's change the query by adding billing city and billing postal code to the select statement and aggregating by billing city instead of billing country. Select billing city, billing country, Billing Postal Code, Sum, Total, From, Invoice, Group By, Billing City. This time we received a more detailed results set with the list of cities, corresponding countries, postal codes, and average deal amounts for each city. Let's add one final touch by sorting the total deal amounts in descending order. Select Billing City, Billing Country, Billing Postal Code, Sum, total, from, invoice, group by, billing city, order by sum, total, DESC. Perfect! Now we get the full illustration of the total deal amounts per city, and our report is ready. With dBeaver, you can also complete aggregation using the UI without manually creating queries. Let's look at another way to solve the previous task, this time with the help of the grouping panel. Open the invoice table in the data editor, go to the right-hand toolbar, and click the grouping button. This panel is empty by default. You can add the columns you need to work with. Let's start by dragging and dropping the Billing City column into the Panels area. As you can see, the COUNT function is applied automatically. However, our task is to find the deal summaries, so let's replace COUNT with SUM. To do this, click the Edit Grouping Columns button in the top toolbar of the Grouping panel. Here you can add or remove columns and add the aggregate function you need. Let's select COUNT and click the Remove button. Then, click the Add button and enter SUM TOTAL. All that's left to do is add Billing Country and Billing Postal Code. To do this, click the Add button again, enter the column's name, and press Enter. After adding both columns, click the Apply and Close button. That's all we need to do to get the same result we achieved by manually creating a previous SQL query. You may notice that the columns in the grouping panel are displayed in the order in which we've added them. Likewise, the order of the columns in the result set depends on the order in the SELECT statement. Now you know two ways of finding the summary of values using the SUM function with dBeaver.
We hope that you've learned a bit more about SQL scripting today. The following videos will help you take another step toward becoming an SQL professional. Feel free to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any updates. Thanks for watching and see you in our next video.